What's up, astronaut? I have not seen you in a minute. I know it's all my fault. Don't kill me. Uh, I'll be making a lot more videos soon, I, I promise, okay? But anyway, guess what? I met Virtual Riot about a week ago, and about a week ago, all right. Anyway, this is what happened. Virtual Riot, I just hopped into his brain, and it came out with this bass. So this is what we're gonna be making today. So yeah, it's like an actual virtual ride base for once. <laughs> you know, it like it sounds really cool. And then when we mess with the wave tail position, we get a cool sound too. All right, let's just jump in, boys. Hey, what's up, astronaut? Let's jump right into the video. First things first, we're gonna be turning on oscillator A, and we're gonna be jumping this to FFT squeal. Now this waveform is super fun, and that's why I was really focusing on using it. This spot right here is actually just perfect for what we're trying to do. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it right there. We're gonna go on to FM from B, of course. This is a rocket powered sound, right? Like, of course we're doing FM from B. We turn on the level on oscillator B, and now we just go ahead and turn off the F. Whoa, let's turn up. Actually, no, we don't even touch that. We'll go to the basic shapes. Yeah, we're not even changing the octave from right but basically you guys know the drill if you watch my videos like it's really really good to run uh, sawtooth waveforms as like the signal oscillator in a frequency modulation setup because that way we get some really awesome harmonics and it allows us to create some really really awesome results right so anyway we have our sawtooth waveform now loaded up I'm actually gonna turn on band positive and we'll get into that in just a sec you know because it's gonna be cool Trust me, <laughs> right? Um, anyway, let's begin our first modulation, right? As we heard in the original sound, it's like a virtual riot, like yup, yup, yup. So let's create that little something like that. And then we put this on trigger. Doesn't quite sound like it just yet, but stick with me. We'll turn on, uh, turn this on to our FM now. All right, good enough. We'll put on noise. Uh, direct out. We'll just leave it on AC. Why not? That's not a deal. But this is just to add in that extra high end. Make it sound a little bit more full as well. Now you're still probably wondering, all right, Shane, where, where is it going here? Is this a joke? Am I a joke to you? But guys, trust me, you're not a joke to me. Let's go on to our combs because the combs is where the metallicness and coolness starts to happen. Virtual Riot like he uses a lot of these comb filters if you watch his videos. Um, and so, yeah, we're gonna be doing that. So go ahead and right away, we can start to hear how it gets cool. We're gonna put on our keyboard tracking so we can get the pitch to follow with whatever cutoff. I mean, our, the cutoff to follow with a pitch. That sounds kind of crappy, but what we're gonna do to make it not sound crappy is we turn on the resonance to like 24 or something. So. We don't get the extra tell when we play it, but and then when we go and put the LFO that's moving everything on here, we only get like those really resonant frequencies up here. Okay, so that's a really awesome technique. And really, the art here is just finding that that sweet spot. And and so, okay, yeah, that's good for now. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into our LFO two and we're going to actually add in our second kind of movement. Now what I'm gonna do here first is I'm just gonna put this so you guys can hear the movement, right? We'll put this on trigger and we're gonna leave this on one fourth. Now when we have the difference in the speeds, so we have this one eighth and one fourth, it's gonna sound really cool. So this is gonna continue one, 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 and this one's to go down. So it goes one, 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 you know, something cool. And a little bit of variation. So stick this onto our Ben Plus. Okay, not sounding too good just yet. But now we'll actually put this onto our cutoff as well. We'll put this minus. I swear this is going somewhere. All right, so let's take it right into the effects. We'll put this onto our height. Filter 24. And by the way, guys, I just realized I do have 
an OTT compressor turned on. So you're probably wondering why yours sounds different. That's what mine should be sounding like, but I just realized I had an OTT on this whole time. But I'll just leave it on for the sake of the tutorial. If you have OTT, put it on. If not, just download the free plugin. It's uh, every producer uses it. Anyway, we'll put this on to cut off. Turn this down. And now we're gonna make it speak by modulating the high pass. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> it kinda sounds like it's speaking. Now we're gonna stick out a multi-band compressor, turn up the game. We should probably mess with that a little bit later. But anyway, let's continue. We'll turn on our EQ. And this is when things start to get pretty fun here. We start to create the speaking virtual right frequency. We'll turn up the gain here. All right, that is not the frequency I'm talking about, but we'll move this now. A little bit of movement with the LFO. And boom. It's talking, and now we'll get into the second talking part. We're actually gonna go minus. Oh yeah, baby. We'll make the frequency modulated backwards. Okay, it still sounds pretty gross if you ask me, and <laughs> we're gonna have to make some edits later, uh, but my little trick for working with Hyper is we turn up the up the mix all the way that way we can actually go directly into the sound and hear exactly what's happening so one of the things a lot of rhythm producers are doing now is they're using the hyper really well by turning it up uh, you know uh, turning up the rate and turning up the detune actually put this clean it up a little bit all right guys so when we have it on one eighth it doesn't sound too good right now but put it to one fourth and one thing that I just realized is we gotta turn up the FM a little bit more. Much better. And then here we're actually going to modulate this forward. Okay, that's what I was missing. We gotta stick LFO1 onto the cutoff and put this up seven. All right, it's a little bit weird uh, when you're trying to work with 10 things being modulated and teach it, okay? <laughs> so cut me a break. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, make sure you slap a big thumbs up and let me know what you guys think of, you know, the sound. I mean, if you liked it, do that. And anyways, without further ado, guys, I'm going to be pumping out a bunch of videos. Click that subscribe button and check out our new Tarot Toolkit, which you can find, which you can find, which you can find on rocketpoweredsound.com. Anyway, guys, without further ado, my name is Shane from Rocket Powered Sound, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next Serum Tutorials.